that result. Like they're a big team, big pack. We knew that they were going to be confrontational from the start. Um, we just knew if we just kept to our patterns, our systems, and grind them down, we'll eventually break them down. And well, I think it's 49, 50 points to 12. So it was quite a, a good score at the end. So we're all very happy. I don't know what the results were today, but I know there were some close uh, scores at half time for the other games. So promotion is still there. But I know we've got to probably win every game now for, with bonus points and a few other teams slip up, but I think it's, it's still in our reach, just about. I think I think that today I think the game sort of opened up um, from from our attacking from their defensive set. So the boys were just playing with the heads up. There was areas of areas of development, so we'll have to have a look on 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 Tuesday, Thursday. Um, but we had massive defensive efforts. I think I think last couple of weeks that that's an area of development that we have been looking at. Um, so it's great. There was no sort of penalties for height shots or anything like that from us. Um, there's elements of the game that we were in full control as well. So yeah, overall very happy. It's it's a tough league. It's a tough league. It's, a, it's sort of a long league. It's a tough league, um, and you need that strength and depth. And I think from from last year. Um, we didn't have that depth where we have this year and people are just slotting in. So Tom was out for eight weeks, Adam Dunn came in, he performed really well. So we're very lucky where we are as a squad. I remember um, 12 months ago we were in this position and there was we were losing two, three players a game. Uh, so there was a lot of churn in, in the team. Um, and I think that able to select that 2022 it, it does make a difference, especially their the coming together, knowing what they need to do from each other going forward. So yeah, very happy with the health of the team as well. I think last year was a big learning curve for us regarding stepping up from our level six to level five, and I didn't expect it to be such a big step. Um, but I think we've retained around 95% of our score from last season so there was a lot of learning a lot of growth last season that's taken us into this season and I've seen some players maturity and leadership on the field as well so for us it's sustainable so we have to be sustainable as a club um, so not not breaking the club to try and get silverware um, I think the game is in trouble um, from players exiting but also from a financial perspective as well. So for us, it's just keeping our ship tight. For us, as, as a club, um, yeah, it's, it's, a bit, it's been a big loss. I think from, a, from a, the rugby family as a whole, there's, there's been a loss within the family. I think everybody feels that. Um, been a massive part of this club. One of the greatest Lions, one of the greatest Welsh players ever played. So for us, it was it was nice that we were able to put something special together f for 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 him. Massive massive opportunity for us next Saturday. Havant will be a different test. Um, they'll be as physical as today. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more um, organised in their defence. So they, there won't be as much space there. Um, so we'll review today, uh, we'll preview Havant, we'll see what, 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 we, what we can see and then uh, we'll turn up and hopefully get a result.